This time around I'm making a wallet that I specifically designed for my Glowforge so that it would cut out all of my stitching holes, which is what you see here. This is going to help me scale my business, I don't have to hand punch every single thing, and I still get to hand stitch it, it's just I don't have to worry about punching them out by hand. So Glowforge, thank you. Now with this, I'm going to use my skiving knife, my French skiver, to skive down the interior card slots to make it a little bit thinner, reducing some of the bulk of the wallet. And then I like to use tokenol and canvas cloth to burnish the edges, and of course I use my number two edge beveler to round it out. I did have to cut out so much bulk from this video, so if you want to see the extended version, of course the link is going to be in my bio, that'll take you over to my channel where you can see a longer version where I break down every single step, including the tools I use and why I use it in that particular part of the process. Now back to this. Now you just saw me bevel the edges, hitting it with tokenol again to get a nice glassy edge, and it's all together. So you saw me hand stitch it with the citrus stitching, so I want to know in the comments what you think of this color combo, and of course what stitching color you would have gone with on top of this olive green Italian leather.